Welcome Whoa. back, everyone. And we are going to finish making Fiona's bubbling cauldron. I kind of worry that this is kind of a real cauldron with her. Because <laughs> yes. you made it so well. So in the, the last segment, we did the, the burning embers mm -hmm. here with uh, lights and then spray foam painted it um, with the red and a little, or the black and a little bit of red, I should say, put some bones on there. Now we have to do the cauldron. Correct. So the first thing we're gonna do is, if you want to make your cauldron look like it has a witch's brew kind of spilling out of it, and you can find these cauldrons at, say, Party City, or even Walmart used to sell them a couple of years ago, all you do is just take a little bit of Mod Podge and some oatmeal, okay? and you want to mix it together. Now you want more oatmeal than Mod Podge in that mixture, and if you let it sit out for say even an hour, it gets really nice and tacky enough to work on when you, you apply it to the cauldron. Otherwise it's just gonna drip you down. You made this about 11 yeah. o'clock this morning. And so, it's, okay. you know, it's at a good point. Okay. Right. So I left some unfinished right here for you, and all you want to do is you just start using either a spoon or your fingers or whatever. This is something the kids can have a lot of fun doing. And you just start making it look like a witch's brew is spilling out. And you know, it could be frogs, it could be Eye of Newt, it could be whatever in that witch's brew, right? And the best thing about this is, uh, there's no rhyme or reason to it. I mean, look at that, it, mm -hmm. how great that looks. Yup, okay, so here's how you make your cauldron look a little bit rusty, a little bit old, because you know, a, a regular plastic cauldron, well, it looks all shiny and new. So you wanna take some acrylic, you know, just some acrylic paint and you want say copper, you want uh, like maybe a brown, you maybe want a black acrylic paint and that will kind of help create a rusty look. Okay. So you just kind of start taking your brush and just dab, 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 you know, around the oatmeal. Okay, and you want to just kind of keep working your way around. You do a, you can mix the copper and the black together. There's really no wrong way to do this because honestly, I did this in what five minutes earlier, yeah. and it looks fantastic. Don't think, y'all. Just paint. Okay. Then when you get around it all, you, once the Mod Podge dries, which some of this has already dried, so Mike is going to take some of the green, and then you put the green on the oatmeal portions, all right? And that will look like that witch's brew spilling out, okay? Then you let that dry. You can aim a fan at it and really speed up the process like we did earlier. So the next step is to really make sure you have that nice bubbling witch's brew mist going on. So in the past, you've probably used dry ice, but then you have to kind of you know, you got to put some towels in there. And that gets expensive, too. It gets expensive. Yeah. You know, you're constantly pouring water. If you have a large cauldron like this, you're going to want to get some dowel rods, cut them to fit. You measure to the inside of the cauldron and mm -hmm. maybe get, you know, um, a plastic tray or a, a round foam uh, a foam piece, and then that can be for, for the large cauldron that you can find at the craft store. For the small cauldron, I found this at Hobby Lobby. They are smooth foam discs, okay? And I just got three because I took the cauldron with me to measure. And you just kind of stick them in there and then stick them down. You can hot glue them together if you want, but for right now, just to show you, all right, you would put that at the top and you can see that right here, there's still some edge you know, showing. So you want to make sure we seal that, okay? So you can take plastic or you can just take the, the tape, okay? And you would just seal this shut, okay? So that the brew just spills over the edge, okay? And then you can kind of cut that. You can use um, gaffer tape, you know, you know, tuck it down, okay? And then once that is finished, all you're going to do is put your mist maker in. So instead of dry ice, what I found, and I just kind of found this on Amazon, are these kind of little ultrasonic mist makers. And that's what's going right now in that large cauldron, okay? So you wanna make sure you put the water in first, okay? You don't want to you know, have your hands in there when, 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 you, when you plug it in and you turn it on. You put the water in first, you make sure it's maybe under about an inch, inch and a half of water and then you turn it on and that's gonna be your effect and that's just going to keep going. Now, of course, the bigger the cauldron, the longer this will go without you having to refill it. About how deep can those be in the water? You said about, about two inches About maybe? an inch and a half okay. to two inches, not any more than that, okay? So that, so that is the, the final look. And then 
you can go ahead and use instead of just bones to decorate it you know you can go to the, like you know the dollar stores or you know or the craft stores and you can find those kind of um, uh, skeleton spiders mm -hmm. or skeleton this or even the felt spiders and you can really glue those to the cauldron you can glue it to the burning embers or around the burning embers to really make it pop in your yard Where and you what I'm gonna have going in addition to what you see right there, is I'm going to have kind of a blue light aimed at it so that you can really see the skull Ooh. and bones effect at night. Because you kind of lose that as it gets yeah. darker and darker and darker. Where do you put that? On your front porch? Uh, no, it's going to be uh, down a little further next to my phantom. Okay. <laughs> And that she was is, my, she my is the Clark Griswold of <laughs> Halloween decorations. If you would like more information on making this cauldron, and it is very, very cool looking, uh, and it's not a difficult project, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.